Okay, in this question, we're asked to solve each equation, giving your answers in exact form. So it's really important you've read that, because some students tend to decimalise everything. Give your answers in exact form. So for part A, we've got the following. E to the power of 4x subtract 3 is equal to 2. What I'm going to do is take natural logarithms of both sides. So I'm going to take the natural logarithm of both sides... And that on the left hand side just obviously gives me 4x subtract 3 is equal to ln 2. And I'm going to make x a subject because I'm solving this for x. So I'm going to make x a subject by adding 3 and dividing by 4. So 4x is clearly 3 add ln 2. And x therefore is 3 add ln 2 divided by 4. Whatever you do, don't feel tempted to decimalise that, it's absolutely no need. You're asked to give your answers in exact form, so make sure you just leave your answer like that in exact form. Okay, for part B, I might actually do part B beside it, just so it's on the same page. So part B is what I'll do it here. So we're asked to solve the natural logarithm of 2y subtract 1 is equal to 1 add the natural logarithm of 3 subtract y. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract ln 3 subtract y off both sides so I can combine logs so I get ln of 2y subtract 1 take away ln of 3 subtract y is equal to 1. Now I know that my log rules uh, ln a subtract ln b is ln a divided by b so therefore I can write that ln of 2y subtract 1 over 3 subtract y must be equal to 1. Now I can take exponentials of both sides, so taking exponents I would get 2y subtract 1 over 3 subtract y is equal to e to the power of 1, which is just e. And now I want to make y the subject, so multiply both sides by 3 subtract y, so 2y subtract 1 would be e multiplied by 3 subtract y. Multiply out the brackets, 2y subtract 1 is 3e take away ey. Now make all the y's on one side and make all everything with not a y. Uh, together. So what I want to do is I want to have these terms together maybe on the left hand side and these terms together on the right hand side. So I would have uh, 2y add ey is equal to 3e add 1. Factorise the y and divide by 2 plus e. So y is going to equal 3e add 1 divided by 2 add e and I've done for that question. Just checking up here, I've solved both. Uh, I've solved the first one for x, x is equal to that in exact form, and I've solved the second one for y, and y is in exact form. Do not decimalise.